Hey folks! In this lecture, we'll learn about a foundational topic for Linux administrators and RHCSA candidates shell scripting. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video. Also click on that notification bell. Thank you! In Linux system administration, we often perform repetitive tasks like creating users, checking disk usage, restarting services, or managing backups. Doing these manually over and over can be time-consuming. That's where shell scripting comes in. It allows us to automate such tasks efficiently. So, what is shell scripting? Shell scripting means writing a series of Linux commands in a file. That file, called a script, can be executed just like a program. This way, the shell runs all commands one by one automatically, saving time and avoiding mistakes. Now, why is shell scripting important for RHCSA and real-life Linux system administration? In RHCSA, while you might not be directly asked to write a shell script, you'll often be asked to perform tasks that can be automated using scripts. For example, creating multiple users, backing up configuration files, running disk space checks, automating service status checks, managing cron jobs. So understanding shell scripts can give you a clear edge in the exam, and even more so in a real job. Let's now understand the basic structure of a shell script. Every shell script starts with something called a shebang. That's the line, slash bin, slash bash at the top of the file. It tells Linux to use the bash shell to run this script. Anything starting with hash is a comment these lines are ignored by the shell and are meant for human readability. Inside the script, you can write any Linux command just as you would write them in the terminal. Also, we usually name our shell script files with a .sh extension. This is not technically required, but it helps us and others easily identify that the file is a shell script. It's a good practice in real environments and during RHCSA preparation. Let's move on to the practical part now. Let's start by creating our first shell script. We open our terminal and type nano first underscore script dot sh. This command opens a new file named first underscore script dot sh in the nano text editor. Inside the file, we write the following shebang slash bin slash bash hash. Hash, this is my first shell script. Echo, welcome to RHCSA shell scripting. Date. Let's break this down. Hash bang slash bin slash bash is called a shebang. It tells Linux that this script should be run using the bash shell. Hash, this is my first shell script is a comment. Lines starting with hash are ignored by the shell and are only for human readers. Echo. Welcome to RHCSA shell scripting is a command that prints a message to the screen. Date is a Linux command that shows the current date and time. We press Ctrl plus X, then Y, and enter to save and exit nano. Now, the script is created, but by default, it's not executable. So we run chmod plus X first underscore script dot sh. This command gives the script execute permission. CHMOD stands for change mode, and plus X means add executable permission to the file. To run the script, we type dot slash first underscore script dot sh. The dot slash means run this file from the current directory. The output will be welcome to RHCSA shell scripting, current date and time. We can also run the script using bash first underscore script dot sh. This tells Bash to run the script even if we haven't made it executable. Real life example, creating multiple users. Now, let's create a script to automatically add users. We type nano create underscore users dot sh. Inside the file, we write shebang slash bin slash bash hash. Hash this script adds multiple users. For user in Alice Bob Charlie, do user add dollar user. Echo dollar user created. Done. Let's explain this line by line. Shebang slash bin slash bash again tells the system to use the bash shell. 
Hash this script adds multiple users is a comment explaining what the script does. Now comes the key part. For user and Alice Bob Charlie. This is a for loop. It tells the script to repeat the commands that follow for each user in the list. Alice, Bob, and Charlie. User is a variable that takes on each of these names one at a time. The do keyword tells the shell to start the block of commands that should be run for each user. Inside the loop, we have user add dollar user. This command creates a new user. Dollar user refers to the current value in the loop, so it will be Alice in the first loop, Bob in the second, and Charlie in the third. Next, echo dollar user created. This prints a message confirming the user was added. Finally, done. This tells the shell that the loop is finished. We save and exit the file. Then we make the script executable, chmod plus x create underscore users dot sh, and run it with sudo dot slash create underscore users dot sh. We use sudo because creating users requires administrative privileges. The output confirms that all users have been created. Real life example, backup the slash etsy directory. We type nano backup dot sh inside the file. Shebang slash bin slash bash hash. Hash backup the slash etsy directory. Tar hyphen czf etsy underscore backup dot tar dot gz slash etsy. Echo backup completed. Let's explain. Tar is a command to create archives. Hyphen c stands for create. Hyphen z enables gzip compression. Hyphen f allows us to name the output file. Etsy underscore backup dot tar dot gz is the name of our compressed backup file. Slash etsy is the directory we are backing up. The second line, echo backup completed, displays a message when the backup finishes. We save the file, run chmod plus x backup dot sh, then sudo dot slash backup dot sh. This creates a compressed archive of the slash etsy directory. Real life example, arithmetic script. Now let's write a simple script to add two numbers. We type nano add underscore numbers dot sh inside the file. Shebang slash bin slash bash hash. Hash a simple script to add two numbers. A equals sign 10. B equals sign 20. Sum equals sign dollar double parentheses. A plus B. Echo. Sum is colon dollar sum. Now, let's break down what each line means. A equals sign 10 and B equals sign 20 assign values to two variables. Sum equals sign dollar a plus B calculates the total and stores it in the variable sum. The dollar double parentheses syntax is used for arithmetic in bash. Echo sum is dollar sum prints the result. We save and run chmod plus x add underscore numbers dot sh dot slash add underscore numbers dot sh here the output is sum is 30. to summarize in this lecture we learned the basics of shell scripting in linux what it is how it works and why it's important we created and run our first script added multiple users using a loop backed up the slash etsy directory and wrote a simple arithmetic script we also understood key concepts like the shebang bin bash, using comments, giving executable permissions, and running scripts with dot slash script dot sh or bash script dot sh. Shell scripting helps automate repetitive tasks and is a powerful skill for both the RHCSA exam and real world Linux system administration. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next one. And let's keep learning together.